Good evening. Welcome to the VIP experience with the legendary Clark Sisters. I'm Melanie Pratt. And uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Melanie Hulu number one. And you can listen to me at PrayCharlotte.com, Charlotte's Inspiration Station, the Radio One Station. But tonight, I am here to hang out with the legendary Clark Sisters. Y'all already know that because you signed up for this amazing experience. And we want to get to the concert. So we're going to take some time to sit down with the sisters. I've got half of the sisters here with me right now. We're going to find out which half right now. Let's put right. our hands together. <laughs> and welcome, Dorinda and Twinkie. Hey, how you doing? Hello, Andy. How are you, honey? We're doing We're wonderful. Doing fantastic. So good to see you. Now, I just said we have half the Clark sisters. The other half are on the way. But I got to ask, do we have the good half or the mischievous half with us? We got the best half. <laughs> okay, we're going to ask, your, ask your sisters when they get here whether they concur. So has it been right. okay for you? I know we have to get ready for the concert. How's your day been? Well, my day has been wonderful. Of course, uh, you know, on Sundays, we are definitely working in the ministry, of course, um, you know, at our church. And um, of course, it's, we're very, very few in number, but um, we uh, we actually have, you know, it's a work day. But I went up to Flint today and I had to uh, minister up there and uh, just to see how the changes of things happening. Um, it was really quite different. This is like my second outdoor um, concert. So it was really, really great though. So you've That's been staying busy. busy. She said you've been staying busy. Yes, I've been staying quite busy. You got to stay busy uh, at a, a standstill world. <laughs> <laughs> Twinkie, how about you? What was your day like? I had a wonderful day. Uh, I wasn't busy like Dorinda was, uh, but I did watch on uh, streaming uh mm -hmm. our service and i got a chance to hear bishop preach and again dorinda was ministering mm -hmm. and karen did some too so i got a chance to relax i guess to get ready for this mm -hmm. <laughs> well i'll tell you what we're gonna we, we have lots of questions from your viewers from your fans um but as we wait for the other sisters i want to play a little game with you too if that's okay Okay, so we're gonna play this game. Whole time, listen. We are excited. We ain't going nowhere. We are here for our fans, and we just want to love on them and let them know how much we appreciate them. Yeah, can't wait for the concert, though. And that's why they love you back. So we're gonna play this game called "Who Is Most Likely to." Okay, okay. so if it's you, you point to yourself. If it's your sister, okay. you point to your sister, okay? So this is just right. Twinkie and Dorinda right now. I wanted to play with everybody, but we're gonna play with just you all to see, okay, right? So, okay, you ready? Yes. Yeah. Who's most likely to forget a loved one's birthday? I am. <laughs> I am the one. I feel terrible. I should know some of my nieces and nephews' right. birthdays and yeah. some of my relatives. So forgetting birthdays. Sure. What about who's most likely to forget people's names? Oh, I am. I you am. are. I really am. You know, and I, I, I guess I'm, I'm color coded um, when it comes to knowing people or remembering them, and that is basically it's always a color. It's right. always a color. I got to remember. Color. Oh, that's yeah. interesting. Says the rose of gospel. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Let me go, girl. <laughs> well, who's who's most likely to order takeout than cook dinner? That's me. I'm that's you? lazy. When yeah. it comes to cooking, I'm lazy. I'm You're not lazy. good of a cook, but I can cook two things, and that that's uh spaghetti and baked chicken. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Well, let's go down that day. Who cooks the best pound cake? Oh, pound cake. I Probably guess Jackie. Jackie. Nobody bakes? Jackie. 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 Okay. All right. Chef is Jackie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Who makes the best macaroni and cheese? Oh, Lord. Nikki. Yeah. Nikki, yeah, Nikki, Nikki, yeah. Now, how Nikki get into this? <laughs> um, yeah, Nikki does. I know it. Look, I know she's not a sister, but she's part of. This. <laughs> Amen. Okay, now, who's most likely to buy shoes and hide them in the trunk so don't nobody know they bought some stuff? Karen. Karen. <laughs> That's right. Here come on. Package is piled yes, up. Yes, it does. You would never know. Uh -huh. Okay, who is most likely to play a joke or a prank on their sisters? 
Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, probably Jackie. Jackie. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes. Who's most likely to get mad because the joke was played on them? Jackie. <laughs> yeah. For Christmas, she does all of that for Christmas. <laughs> right. At Christmas. Yes, at Christmas. Mm -hmm. that's, the, that's the time when you can really play jokes on people. Right. <laughs> Give them a gift they don't expect. Right. Oh, uh, okay. So. All right, tell us about the pranks at Christmas. What's the best one that she's played? Oh my goodness. Um, well, the one with um she, you know, because sometimes she'll say she'll wrap up the gifts and she say, I don't know who's gonna get what, but right. I know I wrapped it up and it's right. all for <laughs> that's right. So we don't know what we and then she'll say, Oh, that's not yours, that's Karen. That's right. Oh, that's not yours, that's Twinkies. Oh, right. that, you know, that's the right. you know. So she'll do stuff like that. Mm. So yeah, she's the most prank person. Okay, well, let's ask who gives the best gifts? The best uh, gift. Dorinda. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dorinda's she gifts said. are uh, very expensive oh. and you better be able to afford what she buys you because if you wear <laughs> one, you're going to have to buy some whole new clothes. <laughs> I'm going to have to send you my address then for Christmas time. How about that? <laughs> who takes Karen? Karen, she, she gives really good gifts too. Yeah. yeah. Her who, who takes the best selfies? Selfies? Oh, I'm out of that. She <laughs> does a good job with that. She does it. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, well, I guess, Twinkie, you answer my next question, which who takes the worst selfies? So that, <laughs> I do. You, you're exactly right. And they're trying to keep me up with technology, you know, just like we're looking at you. But if, if I fall too behind, then I get fussed at. Uh, yes, we do. We we fuss at her. And you know, Melanie, we was just talking about that just a few minutes ago about how we were um when we were preparing for the virtual concert. Right. And a lot of the fans know that we had a class, a computer class, right. uh, with all of the sisters mm -hmm. and uh, the young lady that was um, teaching Tiffany. us. Yeah, Tiffany, she was teaching us. And so we were trying to get certain things done. She was like, that is not right. We gotta go back over that for the camera sake. We gotta go right. back over that for Twinkies, you know? Yeah. But it was a really good class <laughs> for us because we were able to get more up on technology, mm -hmm. um, you know, cause we're getting older. And we gotta use the millennials to help us get. Amen. Through. We all getting older. Amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> well, you all had thousands, literally thousands, of questions asked by your fans. So I definitely want to get into some of those. And the, this first question, uh, we are gonna go to Detroit, right there in Detroit. Okay. Jerome Dante Brown says, "Twinkie, I love you. You are the baddest." <laughs> You are the baddest organist ever. And yeah. I wanted to know what techniques did your mother teach on how to play the organ by ear? He says, I'm 37 and I have a desire to play. Am I too old? <laughs> oh, okay, thank you. I forgot the guy's name, but anyway. Dante Brown. Dante, okay. Dante, uh, I had some real hard teaching, man. Uh, my mom did not play, but when she saw that I had the desire to play the organ like she did. Then she began teaching me and training me. And the first thing was that I had to be able to play for a service, a complete service. Mm -hmm. And that means you may have a hymn, uh, you may have an old congregational that some of the old, old saints used to sing. And then from there, you build up your uh, repertoire as a, a choir, choir songs. And uh, then, then later on, we got into recording. And that's when it really becomes hard because mm -hmm. once you're recorded, if you mess up, then you're you're down. Yeah, you can't, go back. You can't right. go back and correct that. Right, unless you go back in the studio. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so let me tweak, let me ask you with that with regards to playing and playing in the studio. The studio process is way different today than when you all started. Talk to us a little bit about that. And um, is it? I assume it's easier because you have more experience, but talk to us about how technology plays into that and whether you like it more or less. Wow. Well, a lot of times, wow, you asking some uh, <laughs> really, 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 good. Yeah. Said really good questions. Mm -hmm. Well, if you mess up, they got uh, computers fixed now where they'll fix your note. Mm -hmm. if right. You're flat or you went off. If right. You run good. Ooh. If you mess up, <laughs> do that again. There, fix that. She said, do it again. She said, <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. Yeah. So if you mess up, even uh, playing, they got techniques now where they'll go in there and fix it for you and you don't have to record it again. Also, um, they got it fixed now where they have instrumentation that's, that comes out of the keyboard. If you want uh, electric piano or soft piano sound, mm -hmm. if you want strings, you don't have to hire strings to come in. Mm -hmm. If you want a band, you can, uh, that too, you can get out of the uh, keyboard program. Right, a whole so. one man band. Right. That's right. And vocally, vocally back in the day, you had to get it right. It was, you know, pitch control was few and far between. Absolutely. Yeah. It's a different it's day. Over that like two or three times to get right. it right because yeah. the premiere, you know, their ear was really uh distinct. I yeah. mean, you know, you had to, it was just it had to be very accurate. Now, you know, you got the computers where it just actually just puts you right there. You it know, sure you, sometimes these computers can sing for you. That's right. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Let's go to West Palm Beach, Florida. Jennifer says, what do you as sisters do when you all get together? What do you enjoy to do? And she says, I just want to say that I love you ladies, that my mother passed seven years ago and you ladies have become my spiritual moms and aunts. Oh, nice. So Jennifer wants to know, what do you do when you're together? Well, we have lots of fun. Like we tonight do. is gonna be a very exciting time because we're gonna be together and we'll be watching just like you. Right. Uh, yes. but, but we have so much fun because my mom, um, even when we were growing up, we were always family oriented. Mm -hmm. um, we did everything together. And, um, you know, in the early pictures, mama would dress us alike all the right. time. You know, we always did. We never, she never wanted to have uh, like, like right now, you got two o'clock sisters, the other two ain't here yet. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't you start nothing until the other two come, That's you right. know? <laughs> so we we're always, um, you know, we, we were trained to stick together. Right. And uh, that's been um, our motto. Even with my mom, um, many of y'all saw it on the movie. Um, that was the last thing she said. Y'all just stick together. Yeah. You know, when I'm yeah. dead and gone, you'll see why. Right. And this is the reason why. So, yeah, that's that's what we do. We have good family time together. We have, um, of course, holidays. We are always together. Yeah. Um, and just having a good day. We have a family. Um, we didn't do it this year, mm -hmm. but we were planning to do a family vacation where we go away right. the whole family go away children and all we go and we stay in to the uh, rental properties um in florida somewhere like that and mm -hmm. just have a good time just just really swimming good. yeah just swimming swim playing work. games videos all yeah. of that a little recreation mm -hmm. we do that do too. you all have any special family traditions that you love that you share that you would like to share with people well, like the, like Dorinda said, uh, every holiday, yeah. Mama said no travel. Mm -hmm. Everybody's together, no traveling, and mm -hmm. we had to get used to that. Yeah. But uh, at that point, it became a tradition. Mm -hmm. And uh, Dorinda and Jackie go back and forth with their homes, with mm -hmm. whoever's going to serve dinner yeah. and have Christmas over their house. They take turns. Yeah. And uh, Dorinda's home is a little... Uh, Flashy. <laughs> it's kind of extravagant. This home is flashy. Right. <laughs> is home right. Is There's flashy. most yes, extravagant. Her <laughs> home is extravagant. You have to be careful when you when you're my size. You have to be careful how you sit down in her chair. Oh my god! Because I almost broke one of them. <laughs> she was being Goldilocks. <laughs> this chair is too small. This chair. <laughs> Yes, oh, that, that was a big family tradition. Yeah, love that. Let's go to San Diego. Robert Earl Dean wants to know if each of you were not in music ministry, what would you be doing? Oh, if we were in in ministry, we were not in music. We were in a job. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I always really loved to, to work. You know, I had two really nice jobs, um, Burroughs Corporation. My first job was Blue Cross Blue Shield. And so I was always a worker on it. And so that was what I was doing. And then, of course, when God shifted me to ministry, um, that just changed right. my, whole co my whole course of, of nature, you know, where yeah. now this is where I am now. So I'm grateful. Right. And uh, I um, studied at Howard University for two and a half years, mm -hmm. but 
uh, regret regretfully, I didn't finish. Um, my travels became a, a lot and I was working with my mother where I felt that training and teaching was the best thing for me. So I ended up playing for church services and I regret that I didn't finish, but we've, we've gained a lot more for being faithful to the ministry. Nice, nice. So let's go to, I'm trying to, there's so many questions. It's amazing. Your fans love you. A lot of, a lot of the questions were just saying, I love you. I love you. <laughs> we love you. We love you. We love you too. So Shandell Wells from Brooklyn wants to know that even though your mother, Maddie Moss Clark, helped craft the unique blend of your voices, how are you able to sharpen your own individual vocal style over the years? And Shandell says she loves you very, very much. Oh, wow. Well, um, one way that I kind of sharpen my, my skills, of course, I have to make sure that um, I have my vocal, vocal skills. That's right. <laughs> He's working Sharpened with me up. on that. Yeah, and that, um, and we, me, lately, me and Twinkie, right before the um, concert, we have been really working on um, vocal exercises. Yeah, vocal exercises, warm up exercises, just to get the voice um, to where we know where we can actually sing and deliver. Um, because even, you know, the older you get, um, you know, the worse sometimes it gets because right. you you know, your metabolism is mm -hmm. not as fast as it used to be. Right. Um, you know, you, you got so many other things going on and, you know, when before, when you were younger, you were able to, you know, spend time a lot in the studio, a lot mm -hmm. working on songs and, you know, writing and even, you know, even now, um, I know we are writing, my writing ability has not been as sharpened as I would like it because I'm so busy. So right. that's, that's right. yeah, that's one of the things. Mm -hmm. I agree with what Dorinda said. <laughs> what she has said. <laughs> if, if you don't keep it active, then you lose your touch. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't use it, you'll lose it. Right. Right. <laughs> and there's another thing, Melanie, that um, I think this would help a lot of the fans is that uh, those of you that are doing praise and worship and those of you that are artists, um, it's impossible for you to get up and sing on Sunday morning and you not do vocal exercises. Exactly. And I know that, you know, the ministry calls for us to be at a certain place at a certain time. Mm -hmm. But sometimes we have to get up just a little bit early mm -hmm. just to work out. Um, you know, work out your vocal skills mm -hmm. so that you'll properly deliver and that God will be pleased as well. Mm -hmm. But I have a, a balloon technique that has really been um, been helping a lot of people. Right. In my Singers and Musicians Conference, it was a balloon technique that God gave me when my mother opened her school, mm -hmm. um, Clark Conservatory. And uh, when God gave it to me, it was basically to get the uh, respiratory system expanded or your lungs expanded so mm -hmm. that you can get the air into the diaphragm mm -hmm. so that you'll be able to push on your notes. And so that's one of the quick techniques that we do. Uh, me and my sisters do a lot of times right before we sing right. to get us into actually the place where we're supposed to be when we start singing. So I think I think that's really important because we live in a microwave culture. We live in a culture where everybody's got a logo and a photo shoot and it looks good. But you're saying that you still take time to prepare. You have to. Still you take time to prepare. Mm -hmm. and, and so do you find that people think that there's not time or preparation put into it? I know a lot of it is God given and, and um, I know that your mother taught you a lot, but mm -hmm. You, is that frustrating that sometimes people don't realize the preparation that goes into what you do? You know, and that's that's really key. That is really, really key because you do have to spend time. Um, and, and I always talk about it, it being your private time, mm -hmm. especially when you're uh, before you minister, because you got to have devotion time. You got to have the time to talk to God so that God can give you the songs and how to deliver the songs mm -hmm. um, after you've done the rehearsal and all of that. But it's, but it's preparation and people don't see that. That's you know, right. you got to get up. You got to now. 
you have to make sure you have makeup on. You can't get up there. <laughs> you know, like right before I got on here, I was in the car just prepping. Just sure. And I was on right. camera looking a mess. That y'all right. would be talking about because y'all is really, really critics out there. <laughs> but they ladies will we'll talk about you. <laughs> yes, they will. Oh, no, she didn't have no lipstick on today. Right. Listen, is my, no eyelash come, is my eyelash still on? Yes, they are. <laughs> Your lipstick is beautiful. It, it <laughs> is right. It is beautiful. But those are the things that um, people don't understand us as artists and those that of us that are in ministry. Mm -hmm. We have to take time to do that. It takes right. an hour to actually put makeup on, ask uh a makeup artist, right. you know, it takes yeah. it takes an hour to really do that, and that's okay. because you're coming before the camera. And nowadays, especially with social media, you know, these people are. I'm I'm looking at pictures. I'm like, where they get that picture that's from? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Like and y'all fans out there, y'all be <laughs> and we think we're the same thing, Melanie. Because we be saying, "Oh, they wore that in the last right, year, right?" They sure do. <laughs> I've never said that ever, <laughs> ever. <laughs> I've never said that. <laughs> not me, not me. Let's talk about spiritual preparation because you know you all are gifted enough that you know you you could you could fake it if you had to. But we all know that when you come before the people, there's ministry involved. Can mm -hmm. you talk a little bit about your spiritual preparation? Yeah, totally. My spiritual preparation is having a prayer life mm -hmm. and being faithful to my home church. When there are things going on there, one year Bishop called for a 10 day prayer meeting mm -hmm. and we would go in and pray for one hour and then leave for 10 days. Mm -hmm. And along with that comes with living what you sing about Absolutely. you can't yeah. expect to be anointed if you live in any kind of way and you don't have a prayer life mm -hmm. and like you said some people are so gifted they don't even pray they don't have yeah. to they're mm -hmm. so good <laughs> but you got to know the difference between the real true anointing mm -hmm. and having a gift so we were always taught one time we were getting ready to go out on stage and we forgot to pray so mom said Girls, get back in here. Now, where you going? Where you think you're going? You ain't saved. Now, get back in here. You know, she, yeah. she really stressed that real firm. Mm -hmm. And it made me want to consecrate myself more. Mm -hmm. uh, like when, before the Lord would give me a song, I would sometimes fast, just give up my my plate for about noon or up until three o'clock. And I find that when I did, made the sacrifice, that the anointing came stronger. Mm. So it, it is a lot of spiritual preparation. Yeah. So are there, are there things, are there things that your mother taught you that as a young person, you couldn't wait to try on your own a different way. And then you found out your mother was right. Mm -hmm. Let me get this. <laughs> Wait a minute, honey. This is live, y'all. We gotta get the door. Somebody get the door. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Oh, you got it. Okay. Okay. Thanks, okay. Jeju. Okay, we're sorry. Someone came to the door. That's okay. okay. So, are there That's things that your, that your mother? That's the other half of the sister. The half. <laughs> we don't know if they're the best half. We know they're the late half. Right. <laughs> are there things that are there is there anything in particular that you can think about that you could not wait to do differently than what your mother taught and then when you tried it you found out she was right oh gosh yes. well i think to sing before different denominations uh-huh catholic yeah lutheran they don't like all that loud noise but if you go in, kind of ease it on them, and they begin to feel the Holy Ghost, then they'll loosen up and get loud. So they're used to having real quietness mm -hmm. in their services. So mm -hmm. I would like to see more of that, us uh, singing to a different type of audience. Oh, well, that's awesome. Now, is there anything that your mother taught you that you, we don't want to say she was wrong, but that you've learned something different? You got to stand. And I, oh, oh, oh. So <laughs> wait, wait, we got to resituate, right? Yeah, gotta, exactly. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. You, you, you good. Well, welcome. How you doing? Uh, how are you? I'm doing fantastic. I asked Twinkie and Dorinda. They said half of the Clark sisters were there. And I said, well, is this the good half or the <laughs> this half? And 
said this is the best half. The best half. <laughs> oh, did they say that? Yes. That's what they said. They lied. You know? <laughs> <laughs> now, this is the best half now. This is the best half now. Right. <laughs> we want to say welcome, Jackie. How are you? I'm good. How about yourself? We are fantastic. Now, we've been playing some good games and asking some questions and mm. having a good time. And so I was just asking your sisters, is there anything that your mother taught you or stuck you to, kept you to when you were young that you found that she was right about? You thought you wanted to do something different, but you found out, yeah, mama was right about that. Anything in particular you can think of? Everything. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> Everything she said. The only thing I probably would have done different than what she did was uh, I probably would have said, okay, if y'all if y'all want to, no, I ain't gonna say that because she'll be mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> she, go she, did, she did, she did do one thing that I I mean she the most important thing for us that was really important was wearing pants. Yes. She kind of gave up she on got that. Got you on the movie, right? That's a good got one. you on the so movie, man. Right. She got them on now. So, so that was one of the things. But I think that that would probably be the, the most important thing that I really you know, I hated that we had to go through that period of, you know, being teenagers and not being able to do that. Mm. But then um, a after a while, she saw that it, it wasn't going to properly anything because I kept talking to her about it. Yeah, and you got to yeah. tell her. Wait, Melissa, she's got to tell the story about mama. Uh, she's talking about us that we couldn't wear pants to school and we snuck and we put pants in our book bag when we got to school and a lot in the uh, laboratory we went and changed our pants and we was walking around like everybody else so jackie got to tell you about the story about mama about these pants mm -hmm. jackie so mama had a she had a leg amputated and we said is that what you're talking about mm -hmm. yeah she had a leg amputated and so uh, you know, when, when you go to therapy, you have to wear pants. You don't have a choice, you know, because you're lifting, lifting your legs up. And mm -hmm. so she had her stump. And so she was saying, I, I'm not wearing no pants. I said, well, if you want to if you wanna walk again, you're going to wear them pants. <laughs> I said, so now you got a choice. You're going to wear a skirt. So you see all those stuff or you're going to wear pants. That's what you're going to do. Holiness is <laughs> right here. Yeah, I told her, I said, okay, I tell you what, I'm going to go and buy you a skirt. But I did not bought her pants. And when I got back to the hospital, I mean, to the rehab where she was, and uh, she said, I'm not putting them on. I said, well, you can't go to therapy until you put them on. So you don't have to, okay, you don't want to walk me in, right? So we'll just roll you around in a wheelchair. <laughs> it was really um, oh, God. an experience for her. But I think that was, it was after that, uh, she really appreciated the fact that, you know, pants wasn't such a bad thing. Right. It was what the church right. um, yeah. had documented for mm, us. Yes. It wasn't necessarily us. Mm -hmm. So I, I think that that was probably one of the one of the most admirable right. points about her that um, yeah. I, I appreciated. She was going uphold the bloodstained banner. <laughs> yes, oh, in, yes. the yep. in that skirt. In that skirt. Yeah. Let me ask you this: What was what was your what was the thing that your your most favorite thing that your mother cooked? Ooh. Hot Ooh. water, hot uh -oh. no, no, not hot water going to be. Yeah, her yams, yams were. My oh mother, yeah, my, mother, my mom made the little. best yams. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She made the best yams. She made good northern beans. Yeah, cabbage. Um, cabbage. Mm -hmm. She was cabbage. very. Um, she. I mean, she could cook. My mom, and so I think that's kind of like where I kind of got it from because. When she was out of town, I took care of them. So, you know, and then make sure that my father, well, you know, was fed as well. So it was really, um, I think that was my most important thing. I think her yams was like the absolute the best. best. And then fried corn. Yeah, oh, fried corn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fried bell corn. That fried that. corn. Bell yes. pepper. With that pepper. Bell pepper. Oh, I can there. make it like her. Oh, I can make it like her. <laughs> She's got to do that on her show. Jackie got to do oh, that I on her show. Oh, on my show. Yes, fried right. corn. That, that oh, corn, yeah. Fried that corn. fried corn. My mother, let me tell you something. It, we died for that. <laughs> we did. You know, oh, we, we was like, mama, you was really. But she, Jackie, is the cook of the family. She, <laughs> she really is. And that's why um she has the cooking show now that is doing very, very well. Yeah. And love she, it. A lot of recipes. All the recipes. Now, I was going to ask me, how come I'm late today? Okay. okay. We know. Well, ask me why I'm late. We know. Jackie. Yeah. Let me 
excuse you. Why are you late? Because <laughs> I got a phone call about two hours ago to cook some green beans. Uh -oh. So I had to I had to stop what I was doing. And I don't like to, I don't, when I'm cooking for it, but more than one in my household, I always like to use fresh green beans. So I I wanted, so my niece went and got the stuff. And then and you so had to snap. I, I had to wait. Yep. I, yes. So that's why she was oh, like, oh, oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> well, no, yeah, stay glad I did it. We're going to eat tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we going to be here for the rest of the night. Okay? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Listen, I, got, I better get to some of these fan questions or I'm going to okay. be in trouble. Right. Let's go to let's go to a still South Carolina. Linda says, if you could give advice to upcoming young singers and musicians, what would you say? Okay. Uh, I would say be faithful to your home church first. Mm -hmm. That's what we were taught. Can you say that again? Be <laughs> faithful to your home church and be involved in whatever <laughs> gift you have, even if it's nursing, if it's uh, being a good cook, like yeah. Jack said. If it's uh, being with the mothers, praying with them, yeah. then you put church first, put your home church first and, yeah. and don't fake it because you don't expect to be blessed and God to open doors for you if you don't mean what you're doing. But be faithful to your home church and then God will begin to open doors like he did for us. Yeah. It's so different today, though. Do you think you think I mean, I know that it, it still applies and you are absolutely right. But the climate is so different because we have made um, praise and worship into an yeah. artistry. How do pe how are people to balance those things? Wow. That's, you know, it's really true. I think that um, churches have really kind of weird away, veered away from it. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I know one reason why I can tell you. I think a lot of times when, we, when people, uh, when, uh, when they're asked to get up and testify, yeah. you know, I think mm -hmm. that was a, one of the reasons because people get up and say the wrong things. That's or right. and, and some people really honestly were telling their truth, but it was just in an appropriate place to tell your truth at that point. Yeah. And sometimes people don't know how to, you know, distinguish between when it's good and when it's bad. Right. So I right. think one of the reasons why uh, praise and worship became so pronounced. Yeah. I think that another reason why is it doing praise and worship makes people get involved. It makes them get up off their seat and right. stand up for praise and worship. Mm -hmm. So it prepares them as well that they're actively taken apart in praise and worship. Mm -hmm. That's yes, it is. I, I agree with Jackie saying. Mm -hmm. um, and another thing is, is that when, when we're doing praise and worship, you know, you got to be like we were talking about spiritually prepared right. um, for people to be engaged because mm -hmm. ain't nobody going to get with you. And you talk right. about, come on, let's praise the Lord. Praise yeah. the Lord. <laughs> exactly. No, we want to know if you've been with God and they yeah. just, these people today, they can tell whether you've been with Absolutely. God or not. Yeah. Absolutely. So they can see it. Or right. they can see it. And Absolutely. that's the, one of the things with praise and worship. We just can't get up like Twinkie was saying and mm -hmm. just like that, just because you got the gift. Right. And, you know, and you just get up and just use your gift. No, God, God wants to hear what you have to offer. That's right. That's very you know? true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, I, love it. I often talk about that even in, in my workshops about if, if your life is lining up with what the work that you're doing. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times you'll see people put into positions mm -hmm. whose life really don't line up with what right. they're they're ministering over or what or, or what they're leading. Right. You know what I'm saying? Their lives don't line up with it. So it's right. important too uh that we look at it. And a lot of times I think a lot of times pastors do it because their children are the only ones that are available. Right. And because they're the only ones available, they get the task. But sometimes when that task it needs to be passed on to somebody else, they tend to hold on to it. Right. But you still have to understand that you got to be prepared in order to be in ministry and to lead. Mm -hmm. Pastors use their children because it was us. Right. We did everything. That's right. Okay. Sure did. We did. That's we, a perfect, perfect lead into the next question. LaKyra from Baton Rouge wants to know what advice would you give to a preacher's kid? Wow. That's not <laughs> now. I, think, I think the most important part to a preacher's kid is um, if a lot of times, especially if they're mature enough to understand, it's like if she really can sing better than me, if my sister can sing better than me, and my dad said, Well, Jackie, I want you to leave. Then I think that it would be up to me to say, well, dad, 
Let me let her start out and let me back her up because she does it better than me. But a lot of times children feel like they're being pushed into doing things, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. And they may not necessarily be ready. But when we when we look at our at our gift that God has given us mm -hmm. and we want to to uh apply that gift where mm -hmm. God wants it to be used that is best, the best thing to do is always want somebody to go forth that's going to be at, at their at their very best. Mm -hmm. And if you're not at your best, then you shouldn't take it. Right? Let me ask you this. I know your fans put you all, you know, everybody has a slot. A category. Yeah. Okay. Do you all have a different impression about who's the best singer? Or, you know, there are different nuances to people's voices. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jackie said, I am the best all the way around. I'm <laughs> the best popcorn. I am the best singer. I Jackie, let me ask you, are, are you are you the cutest? Right. I'm probably the cutest. Ah. You know, I'm the best. You know. ah. And wait, I, I, I always ego. tell people, people, I tell, okay, so for real though, for real, for real, Woo. I don't think that I'm the best singer. However, I am the best, uh, what's a good word? The I'm, best nurse. I, I, but I, no, that has nothing to do with singing, Dorinda. <laughs> She can rip Jackie can lead. Jackie can that background. She's excellent. That, that's, that's she's great. just she's Jackie is good style. at what she does. How do you she sing? How do you sing with style. three powerhouses and and you and you smooth? Mm -mm. Okay, so I'm the she, only. She, I'm, the only the I'm, the I'm the balance. I'm the balance. I'm the balance. She's got her own style. I'm the balance. I'm the balance with my smooth. She do. <laughs> and that is. The Has there ever been any insecurity about that amongst you? I'll be saying, uh -uh, let me walk out this room. No, Dorinda is <laughs> no very, very good with rhyme. She is rhythm. You she... give her something with some rhythm and a uh, beat. You she... give us that's what you take it. Uh, do it again, Twinkie. How she do? She be energizing money. When she's singing her song, she don't want to stop. That's right. Dorinda can do slow music and fast music and funky music. <laughs> wait, wait, funky gospel. Yes. But wait, let me let me speak on her behalf though, because Twinkie don't know what it's like. Cause she's sitting down all the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I be resting and playing. She do. She do. Oh, she do. Be on our do feet. Y'all see. Y'all see. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Hilarious. Okay, what's the next question. Okay, we gonna go to Houston, Texas, by way of St. Louis, Missouri. That's what she said. Oh. Ruth Goolsby wants to know to each sister, oh, okay. what is your own favorite? What you, what is your own favorite Clark sister song? Each oh, of you. Jesus is a love song. Okay. You wrote that song, girl. Yes, you yeah. did. <laughs> I, I got a new one because be, before I would always say Jesus is a love song, but I've been listening to. Awesome by Tweaky on Tweaky's oh, record. I think that is my new favorite. Yes. Thank you. Awesome. Thank I you. think um I, I think that that song says so much. Praise and I God. think when Tweaky was writing the song, you know, I don't know what she was going through, but mom used to tell me all the time. I would ask her, you know, what would motivate her to write the song. So she would say when she was going through her her worst trial That's or her right. worst tribulation was when mm -hmm. she wrote her best song. That's right. right. And so I'm not sure if that was it her was a feel on it. It's a but testimony. Behind that it. is one of my songs. So mm -hmm. what's your doing? Mine is Praying Spirit. Oh, okay. oh Praying Spirit. spirit. Okay. Yes, yeah, sometimes we forget the words. Hi, you know? Ruthie. <laughs> <laughs> Ruthie Rhythm. can play them songs. Ruthie she, play she all can. the parts of the she songs. Can. <laughs> now, Ruthie used to work with me in the youth department mm -hmm. when uh, Dorinda and I were over um, the music department in yeah. the Church of God of Christ. And so um, Ruthie was one of my um, my musicians. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Ruthie, for writing me hey, in. <laughs> So let me ask you, we, you know, we, we learned through the movie and just through following your lives that, you know, just like everybody else, at some point you've really, really had a major challenge. You know, each sister has had their own thing. How is it that you all um, support each other? Um, and wh what did your mother teach you about going through things and how to, how to support one another as sisters? 
I think that the most important thing is that she taught us is that we we're to stick together no matter what happens. You support each other, and don't don't get it wrong. We we're sisters. We fight. We have our differences, um, but we don't allow our differences to separate us from each other. Right. We get over it and we move on. Right. And my mom never allowed us to fight. So because she never allowed us to fight in our home, she would make you kiss and make up, and I didn't like the kiss make up stuff. Okay, <laughs> okay. right. Ah. Because most of the time I was right. Oh, this we know. That's it. That's why. But I um, but my my uh, we do have quite a few challenges. Of course, even with Jackie, of course, you know, she lost her husband. Yeah. But um, right. you know, we're very, very supportive of her mm -hmm. um because she's kind of still grieving and things like that. Right. So we we we're very supportive in that in that way. And right. then even if somebody you know gets sick, you know, we are we're right there. Um right. you know, a lot of times, you know, we don't share it on social media, mm -hmm. but we we're definitely that family support. Is there. Right. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. really, and that, and to me, that is really the the catalyst, and the, that helps us get from point A to point B. Mm -hmm. Is when we are going through a struggle, or when we're having um, illnesses, or whatever. Right. Uh, we support each other mm -hmm. as best as we can, so that it doesn't affect the public and what we do publicly. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. Some things are not meant for the public, right. um, and then sometimes people tend to give more to the public th than they should. Yes. And I think that for us as sisters, because we're so close, mm -hmm. we know how to share our business amongst ourselves, and right. we don't make it public. So mm -hmm. I think that um, just learning how to do that has, is is um, part of the way my mother raised us. Mm -hmm. So as public figures, people people stay in y'all business. That's, yeah. what, yeah. That's what people do. So. Mm -hmm. How did it feel to be able to tell your own story with the movie? It's like a personal testimony. Mm -hmm. uh, like Jackie said, there's an experience that comes behind every song. And uh, my testimony was that I was in a, a car accident, a head-on collision over 18 years ago. My mother was still living. And I was really messed up bad, I'll, I'll just say that. And I didn't think I would be able to sing or play again. But out of that experience, and one preacher told me, he, he said, I don't want your testimony. Being in a head-on collision, I don't mm -hmm. want that testimony. And mm -hmm. I felt kind of bad that he said it, but he was right. Mm -hmm. So out of that experience, the Lord gave me songs, and there was a different anointing there. So you still go through, you know, yeah. you, mm -hmm. you're going to something greater. So is there anything in the movie that in retrospect you wish you hadn't shared or that you had shared in a different way? In the movie? Yeah. Well, as far as I'm concerned, no. I think that everything that was shared was shared for a reason. And the reason to me was to let people know that no matter uh, what your life is, you can go mm -hmm. through things, you have situations in your life that we weren't exempt from that, mm -hmm. but we didn't allow anything to stop us from doing what we do today. And that's to continue to serve God, mm -hmm. to con continue to be faithful to God mm -hmm. um, and to live our lives um, as, as women of God. And that, yeah. that to me says everything. Right. Yeah. So I don't mm -hmm. think there are any regrets. I think that the most important thing is that people got something from it, knowing that we, you can still be successful Right. even if you've been through a hard time in your life. Mm -hmm. um, and that just shows that we weren't exempt from anything, that we were exposed to everything the world yeah. was exposed to. Mm -hmm. And so because of that, uh, my mom just made sure that the foundation that she, she created for us right. was stable enough to keep us in, in a straight and narrow. Mm -hmm. And we still live that way today. That's yeah. right. I love that. We're going to go to, this question is for Dorinda. Mm, I'm right. from Ayana Young in Longview, Texas. She says, this is for Auntie Doe. Will there be anything for the Rosebuds virtually? We miss you. Oh, I miss you too. Yes, we are definitely coming up with something. Um, uh, and, and they're talking about, for those that don't know, of course, I have a, a, a Rose Connection. 
uh, not the collection, but a rose connection with <laughs> a group of ladies yeah. that um, that come all from all over the world, and they come, and I actually have that time with them and right. share with them. You know, we have women issues, we have things that mm -hmm. we deal with that I try to kind of pull them through, right. and we talk it out. We just have a really good time. We mm -hmm. play games. We just, it's really good. So that's what she's talking about. But there will be um, some more coming up. You know, it's just been so much virtual stuff right I can't even kiss my rose bud, so, I can't even There's so much going on all this social distance right. right. touch your neighbor and say we can't touch your neighbor we can't touch your neighbor we can't do none of that so uh, but we had a zoom call of course thank god for the um platform that we have as far as um of course uh stream yard and um the uh zoom We've had a, a Zoom call with all of my rose buds. And so we'll be having that again, Ayana. All right. All right. Let's see. All right. We've got some more questions. Let's go to um, uh, Tamara in Louisiana wants to know if you ladies had a chance to collaborate with an up and coming artist, who would be some of the artists you would choose? Oh, the young lady that. Um, is it Jacqueline? Thank no, her Ja'Kayla. name is Jacqueline. Oh, Jacqueline. Oh, how to make Jacqueline? I told, you I'm told us you don't remember. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jacqueline. I didn't mean to say it. She <laughs> got that from Kieran. She got that from Kieran. Oh, Kieran. She called her. Kieran, she called it. Here come the other half of the clock. <laughs> yeah, let's welcome Kieran. Hey. Yeah, <laughs> Well, Twinkie, 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 Kalante, Kalante. Yeah. Oh, I yes. think the the uh, they're just so phenomenal what they're doing, and, and uh, can both sing very well. And so I think that they would be really. I don't know who Kim would say, but those are my two people. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, oh, welcome cool. to the party, up and coming artists. Collaborate with. Oh, um, I like what's the gentleman with the beard. Uh, oh, um, uh, uh, um, uh, yeah, he's, he's so old. funny. Yeah, oh, yeah, um, oh, you're shoot. talking about hello, 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 John. John. Oh, no. <laughs> that's, that's, that's his Instagram name. Yeah, yeah. okay. I love, him. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. All right, so now that you're all here, I want to play a little bit more of who's most likely to. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you a question. If it's you, point to you. If it's your sister, point to your sister. Okay, it's all over the map. Who's most likely to own a daycare? Who likes kids? Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I can't hardly keep up. Uh oh, nobody. <laughs> I can't hardly keep up with them. No, I probably will. I probably it's, these, will. it's these grandkids that yeah. got us like yeah. <laughs> Because when mine's coming, it ain't just one, it's three. <laughs> oh, hey. Oh, and I better say something nice because my big sister on there, my other, my grandkids' other grandmother is on watching. So, oh, I would be the daycare lady. <laughs> oh, Jackie! They're so, they're so well, I, think, I think I know the answer to this one based on an earlier conversation. Who's most likely to own a restaurant? Uh oh, Jackie. probably me. Yeah. Look, mm -hmm. Jackie taking all of it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Who's most likely to have the most <laughs> decorations <laughs> at Christmas? Y'all cut up. What'd you say? Okay, what'd you who, say? Who, who's most likely to have the most decorations at Christmas? Probably Dorinda. Yeah. Dorinda. Dorinda from the I got that from Mama. Yeah. yeah. Mama had Santa Claus That's... coming out the house, going oh, down the work. chimney, <laughs> had him slagging. <laughs> Had the, yeah. on the, had the choir on the line <laughs> with books in their hand. Had a, just so much happening. Mama had lights everywhere. She had them down on the next door neighbors. She had like reindeer, a, remember? She had reindeer coming out of the, the house. <laughs> Yeah, my mother got awards for her decorating. Yeah. Oh, wow. I bet you Mrs. Claus had a skirt on, though. 
Right, right. right. You right. Out there. You better believe you it. Right. <laughs> when you you right. Up. That's I'm right. She put them lights up. She call all her choir member, the men in the choir in the choir, and make them come over and help her string them lights up on them trees. Right. <laughs> I love it. Like, okay, so here's a trick question for some good Kojic girls. Who is most likely to dress up for Halloween? Oh. Nobody. <laughs> No, I think Paul. Thank you, Jay Drew. Good answer. Good answer. Okay, who's likely? Who's most likely to eat weird food? Jackie, Jackie likes. No, Karen. No, Karen. Karen likes weird stuff too. Yeah, she does. Jackie likes sushi. I like calamari. No, but that's calamari. I like like the Karen biscuits. Yeah, Karen biscuits. Yeah, but that's not. I like biscuits. She likes sushi. Jackie likes sushi. Diana sauce. No pizza on the pizza. What do you get on your pizza? Oh, uh, anchovies. I'm not having that. Not having it. She likes sushi. I love. I like sushi. You like sushi? Alligator. Man, how really kind of alligator? Alligator. I do too. Alligator. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know about alligator. (laughs) Who's most likely to have an embarrassing moment on stage? Karen and Tweet and Dorinda. Mm-hmm. No, not Dorinda. No, not yeah, Dorinda. That's something. Dorinda never had. Never had. had. Thank you, Jesus. I love All right. Her. She's the one who's a spokesman of the people. <laughs> no, no, no. no, 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 no. Lord, keep, keep, it up, Lord. Lord. Jesus, keep it covered, Lord. Right. I hope nobody has one tonight. We know. Right. Right. I hope nobody has one tonight. <laughs> that's right. So oh, you got to tell us one of those embarrassing experiences. Somebody, somebody, come the Oregon bench collapsed. Oh, so she wants to tell her own story. I kept my hands up in the air like I was playing in the air. And they turned around and looked at me. Are you all right? (laughs) (laughs) They laughed. And finally, must go on. Yeah, somebody Mm -hmm. finally brought me a chair. So that was (laughs) embarrassing. That was funny. Another embarrassing moment was with her. Because I used to tell her, we were were in in a big arena for the same. And I was telling her that the slip she had on was too big, too big, and I told her to take it off. So I was telling my mom to make her take it off. And so she was being the baby, told mama, oh, mom, it's okay, it's not gonna come on. <laughs> and so we get out and we get ready to sing hallelujah. And we get ready to sing hallelujah. She's, sing, she's in her run, you know, hallelujah, hallelujah. She's right. in her run right there. Right. And then the slip comes down, she kicks the slip over on the, um, Organ, organ. on tweak on top of the organ on what tweak right. right. that slip came off honey <laughs> so, and tweak kept on singing and she kept on I singing sing with that slip on my hand I mean, and then there was another <laughs> real really incident that we did in in um i think we were in california in sacramento when uh we were singing in the auditorium and the speakers caught on fire we were singing we you we were singing you about the sunshine yeah. and and um uh, we started singing and when we got right i really in in, in the middle of the song the speaker on the right caught fire, and then the speaker on the left caught fire, and they thought that was a part of our act. <laughs> <laughs> they, they were going crazy. They were going crazy. <laughs> All right, who's most likely to run for president? Nobody. Mm-hmm. Nobody? No, not now. <laughs> really? <laughs> Right, enough said. Amen. 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 We're praying for, no. we're praying for Joe Biden and um, Kamala. Yeah, we're praying, we're praying for, them, for them. Joe Biden and his his his, yeah. his mate. We pray for them. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. Who is most likely to be a nun? Nobody. No. <laughs> Nobody. I was always the Melanie. I was always the last one to do everything. Yeah, I was the last one to get married. I was the last one to have a child. I was the last nun. one to have a date. Yes. I was. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the last one. that's true so though I, I would be close would be to the nun yes Twinkie would be that one I love that I love that so we've got the deluxe album mm-hmm. and Whoa. there's some special things on the deluxe album I know there's some videos some remixes oh, tell yeah. us about the special stuff on the deluxe album let's hear it. the yeah. special stuff on the deluxe uh, is pretty much um old and new uh material that we've mm-hmm. been those of us who uh well the, the next generation they seem to be tapping into our old music yes um, so shout out to all of the new generation yes. Yes. The 20 year olds and, yes. and, and it was amazing to uh, it was a 14 year old i talked to on live today really? and he said i he said i'm such a fan i said how, how old are you he said 14 i said you remember us he said 
Oh yeah, my parents, they they were playing your music. So shout out to all the grandmothers, yes. the great great grandmothers yes. passing it down. Yes. But yes. to answer your question, we have like a lot of the a mixture of the new and the old uh, material songs and right. music. Yeah. I love that. Let's ask some more fan questions. Deandra Darby from Atlanta wants to know, what is one thing that each of you would still like to accomplish? My getting my uh, finishing my degree. Oh. Okay. And I, me too. Wait, what you want to do? Me too. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I want to get a job. <laughs> oh my God. What kind of job you want? I want to get my master's. Though, I really do. <laughs> And I don't know what what you want to do. What you want to do? I'd like to go and I get my uh, bachelor's okay. in um, theology. Oh, great! Yeah. That's, that's really good. Go on, kid. Yeah, but I've said a job because um, <laughs> I think I got scammed, y'all. I did. You got scammed. And I told because, her she was gonna get because scammed. it was because we were in the pandemic and we didn't know how long we we're gonna be up. We was locked up in the house. We was held hostage. Nice. So I said, well, since we're going to be held hostage, I mean, I'm just going to get me a little job. You know, like I told you, Melanie, I, you know, that's what I like to do is was working. And so I got scammed, um, you know, going online and trying to get this job. And they definitely uh, <laughs> took your money, <laughs> they, honey. They, they right. took my money. <laughs> They, so y'all be careful out there, all of our fans, those supporters. Listen, y'all be careful in getting those jobs because some people out there are not real. Right. You know, they'll act like it, but they're not real. Mm -hmm. Just make sure it's legit. And you'll know it's legit by making sure you find them not asking you for your credit card. Right. right. All of those main things, your credit card, your Social Security, all of those. I didn't give them that, but uh, mm -hmm. I did give them one of my credit cards. And that's probably the problem. <laughs> I learned something. Hey, I'm saying something right now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, Melvin, you see what you just started? <laughs> I'm just a fly on the wall. I'm just listening. I'm carrying on. Y'all are carrying on. I'm going to try and get a few. I know y'all have to go get dressed and stuff so we can and get everything together for this show. So let me get in a few more questions. Um, then we're going to tell people how to join your fan club and how to get t-shirts. And then of course, give everybody time to get ready for the show. So let's go to uh, Sierra from Philadelphia wants to know, would you ever perform with the movie cast? Those young ladies did such an amazing job. Have you ever thought yes, about it? Yes, absolutely. Yes, yes. yes. I would love to do that. Mm -hmm. That would be very absolutely. Talented. They, did they a good are job. all of them. All of them were very uh, talented. Christine played Twinkie. Yeah. Shalea who played me. Of course, Angela that played me. Um, Jackie, and then of course yeah. Tiara. Yeah. Of course, that's that's I'll get it right there. Yeah. But yeah, we would love to just share the stage so that people can see the versatility in them, um, and then the versatility of what we have now. Right, right, right. Yeah. So that would be great. Yeah. That would be great. Let's go to Nashville, Tennessee. Corey Stevens wants to know, are you all a part of any community groups or civic groups? Mm -hmm. Community yes. groups. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not. Any charities you support that you are passionate about? Well, I support at our church. Of course, we feed the hungry. We have a right. uh, home feeding program there. Mm -hmm. And then also at our church, I have a smoothie program that I really wanted to always um, venture out and have my own smoothie company. So what we're doing is we take those part of those proceeds and go to the homeless shelters and then the shelters that of abused women. And we go over there and we, uh, of course, give them a lot of uh, funds so that they could be we support them as well and we go over there and minister as well so yeah i uh and I, I i am a supervisor over in the dominican republic and so we i do a lot of community things for um the people over in the dominican republic um we have a, a women's um shelter that i help to fund over in the dominican republic and i am the elect lady evangelism department of the church of god <laughs> and we certainly support uh the community uh, vision oh, of her leaders her. that are around the world and uh, what i'm doing of course we have an initiative that is um 
really, really kind of kicking up. Of course, we had to kind of downsize it a little bit because of, of COVID, but um, we are definitely ex expanding and spreading the gospel that way and doing uh, other things uh, right. in the community. I love and it. Me, I'm not with any of that, but I'm hoping through music that I can reach out uh, to some more outreach ministries. Absolutely. Through the music. Well, you've done plenty, plenty of outreach to your fans out there. I know everybody is loving hanging out with you guys. We're going to go to Newark, New Jersey. Prophetess Lentara Bull wants to know, what major event or time would each of you have loved for your mother to experience along with you if she could? That's an easy one. That's an easy question. Easy? Yeah. yeah. The Grammys. Yeah. The Grammys. The Grammys. Because that was the one thing that she really um, held us to saying that it's going to happen one day. Maybe not while I'm here, but it will happen. Just be faithful. Uh, and then we won. And then when we, we had the nerve to win, we won all three in the same night. Right. <laughs> been, mm -hmm. I mean, she would have just been overwhelmed by yeah. that. I yeah. think so. We really, that would be the one great thing. There was yeah. one thing mom used to always say uh, when I'm dead and gone, we used to, we couldn't stand her saying that. When I'm dead and gone, this is going to happen. When I'm dead and gone, God yep. is going to take y'all here. And when I'm dead and gone, God is going to take. And we, we used to say, mothers, please stop, stop saying that. 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 You know, we didn't want to hear it at the time. Right. Yeah. All of her prayers that she said, I'm dead and gone, it is happening right now. Everything. Right. Wow. So for her to see her prayers come to fruition. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love that. Um, let's let's go here. In Rock Hill, South Carolina, Zoe McCray. Um, a little different direction, but Zoe wants to know, how am I supposed to be more connected with God and know what he wants me to do as a teenager? Mm -hmm. That's a beautiful question. Yeah. It's a wonderful question. Okay, so answer it. So I, I think um, it's, it's really important that you stay connected with um uh, the church that you have, uh, on whether it's online, whether you're doing group sessions online, mm -hmm. staying connected is is really vital right now mm -hmm. because, um, of course, we can't um, see, like we were talking about it before, we can't really see a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, but And then making sure that to circle you around wearing masks. Yeah. Praise God. Wearing masks. Wearing masks. Amen. You wear your mask. Yeah, make sure you wear your mask. But um, being having a really, really supportive um, ministry that can help you walk you through um, this time in your life, because right now uh, you're, you're a young, young person and God is doing something for the young people right now. Um, even in the time, the down times that we have, I think it's really important. And stay in your words, stay right. in your word. There's so many things that are happening on um, online where you can stay connected, reading books, you know, spiritual books, you know, your walk Good. with God, you know, trying to uh, get wisdom and all of those wonderful things. And that's how you start to grow. Right. And you'll see what God is going to do for you if you continue to do that. I love that. Let's, in closing, I want to ask you all one question. You have so many things, just even in the last year, amazing happened. Um, what's next? What can we look for? in the short term and long term future from the Clark sisters what do y'all have yet to do that you want to do Ooh. wow uh do the concert with the the uh keep the young ladies from the cast from the cast that's nice <laughs> uh i think yeah. that would be something awesome mm -hmm. to have and um i think i i think doing um a concert with all of our family would be really a, a tour with that. that Once we're nice. out of this pandemic, so many more things can happen, mm -hmm. but that would be another great item that I think would ha be happy, uh, you know, be great to happen. I, I think, love it. Uh, doing something with a secular artist. Mm -hmm. then, uh, Anybody in particular? Well, Jackie's been, uh, Jackie, you correct me if I'm wrong. She's a, uh, got a project out and she's doing something with Mary J. Mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, there are some other artists that come up to us and let us know. Uh, also the sample that Jay-Z and Beyonce did off of our song, Higher. So I would say, even if it's one or two secular artists, I think that would be nice. Mm -hmm. nice. 
Yes. Well, I know we've got the deluxe album, The Return. It's special music, videos, and remixes, of course. You can download that on musical outlets. We've got the documentary coming real soon, and that's coming online. We'll yeah. got to stay in contact on the ClarkSisters.net to find out when that's coming out. It's behind the scenes and the making of the project, right? Woo. And then we've got the yeah. fan subscription. You got to yeah. subscribe to the fan club yeah. so you going on you can do that on yeah. facebook and at clark sisters the clark sisters.net and then of course you got to get the merch you got to have a t-shirt you can get yeah they can get that now um of course you can go to Karoo records and then yeah. all the sites that we have um we got all of that happening right now and it would just be so nice if everybody could just take a picture in a shirt or something like that amen um, yes you know, that. Works tonight. well just i want to let you all go get even more beautiful than you are and get ready for this concert i want to thank you so much for hanging out with us and we want to say thank you to everyone viewing and i, I feel led to do this i feel like um people are at home and we're doing this virtually because we're all going through so much. People are quarantined, people are stuck at the house, um, people are missing human interaction and contact. And so in closing, and I'm not gonna call on nobody, but I want somebody to close this in prayer and encourage the people you, um, just before we go, go out and to uh, get, prepare for this concert. Thank you. you. Yes. Okay. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you, Lord, yes, for how you've been so you. kind. Yes, Lord. You've been yes. so good to us. You, yes, you, down yes. through the years, you've thank covered you, us and yes, brought Lord. us thus far without any hurt, harm, or danger yes, upon yes, us, Lord, God, yes, and allowing us, giving us this gift and allowing us to use it for your Thank glory. You, Father, we pray yes. that whatever we do or whatever we say, yes, even Lord. on this concert tonight, that yes. lives will be changed. Yes, lives will be delivered. God, in the yes, midst Lord. of this pandemic, yes, we pray yes, that your anointing will cover them. And Lord, everyone yes, that's uh, yes. under the sound of our voice, all of yes, our supporters, Jesus. God, replenish back blessing yes, for them Lord. being a blessing to us. Yes, replenish yes, back blessing. Oh God, for embracing the Clark family. Yes, God, we Lord. thank you right now you, and we pray for miracles to happen yes, miracle Lord. signs and wonders everyone that comes in contact with the yes, Clark sisters yes, we pray Lord. for miracle yes, signs yes, and wonders Lord. and God we thank you for our dear sister Lord. who's interviewing us yes, tonight yes, Lord. Lord pray yes, we pray yes, blessings Lord. over her yes, yes, cover her in the name yes, of Jesus yes, in the midst of this yes, pandemic God we speak yes, victory yes, over Lord. everyone's life yes, God. Yes, thank you for covering us from this disease yes, we know you are a, a disease free God that yes, is yes, deliver us thank from you. it and we thank you for doing it in jesus name we pray yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. amen amen thank you so much the you legendary you. Clark sisters. appreciate you <laughs> love all of y'all y'all enjoy the concert tonight yes god bless and good night good, good night, night. <laughs> good night. <laughs>